I'm Chloe DeLandis with University TV at Emporia State University in Emporia, Kansas, where students are encouraged to get excited about education. Let's make our entrance. Emporia is located in Emporia, Kansas, just east of the rolling Flint Hills. It lies in the center of 70% of the state's population, so there's plenty to see, plus downtown is just a block away. All of us know someone who has served our country. Well, pay homage to that person and Emporia. Emporia, Kansas is about as all-American as you can get. Did you know that it's the founding city for the National Veterans Day holiday? Emporia State's campus consists of nine academic buildings that surround Wooster Lake. It also features Welch Football Stadium on about 530 acres, a number of museums, and a heated therapy pool in the Student Rec Center. And this authentic one-room schoolhouse represents the evolution of education. We are talking old school. ESU has a total enrollment of about 6,300 students, 4,200 of which are undergraduates, 60% are women, 27% are minorities, and the average class size is about 23 students. Freshman applicants, listen up. To gain admission, you are required to rank in the top one-third of your graduating class or hold an ACT of 21 and a GPA of 2.0 for in-staters and a 2.5 for those coming from out of state. There's a flat rate for tuition costs, so no matter how many courses you choose to take per year, the total cost for tuition is under $12,000 for in-staters and less than $14,000 for states surrounding Kansas. Those who live in neighboring states like Nebraska, Colorado, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Texas will pay $26,000 annually. I am a member of TRIO, which is a program here on campus for first-generation college students, and so I was able to um, go to D.C. and speak on behalf of the programs to maintain funding for our uh, federally funded program. And so I met the congressman there and uh, started talking to him and networking with him about maybe an internship with his office. And so I came home, applied for the internship, and that's what I decided to do. Emporia State offers 59 majors, 17 degrees, and 12 pre-professional programs in four different colleges. All of our classes are supported with hands-on labs, and so Students have a lot of opportunities to get in, work with their hands, do laboratory experiences, field work. Um, we're very much into that. Well, as you can see, they do. They get hands-on experience, ladling glass. We also do blowing glass, solid working, cold working. So this, the glass program is a hands-on program. All students learn how to manipulate and work with the material. It's unique to the state. It's the only university glass program in the state of Kansas, and really in this multi-state area. Popular areas of study are elementary ed, business, biology, and nursing. We have a variety of different study abroad opportunities for students. Um, they can spend a whole year um, in, a, in an, another institution someplace in a different country. Um, and in many of those situations, they will pay our tuition to us and uh, the institution there just gets reimbursed. I teach a class in Mexico and a class in the Bahamas. They are field courses, so basically vertebrate zoology. We spend uh, 10 days. Um, snorkeling on coral reefs in the Bahamas and in Mexico. We're catching bats out of the jungle, seining fish out of the ocean. ESU is home to the National Teachers Hall of Fame and its education program was even recognized by the U.S. Secretary of Education for its excellence. We want to continue to focus and celebrate our accomplishments, particularly in teacher education. We're one of the four best teacher preparation programs in the country, and we're quite proud of that. With 260 full-time faculty, 71% have their PhD and 81% have a terminal degree in their field. The Hornets compete in the MIAA conference and offer 13 intercollegiate Division II level sports. And actually, in 2010, their women's basketball team won the national championship. Men's baseball was also the runner-up team in the 2009 World Series. Freshmen are required to live on campus. Don't worry, newbies. Facilities are decked out with an entertainment lounge, game room, and a transition program for freshmen. There's room for over 900 students among the nine halls. I live in the South Towers complex here, and I absolutely love it. It's so fun. Um, at first, I was, of course, nervous because I was going to have a room with someone that I don't know. But they did really, really, really well with pairing. Everyone that I know got paired really well. The student union is new and improved with major renovations taking place. This enhances the over 140 student organizations offered and the live entertainment, which includes Reno 911, Screech, and Coach Boone from Remember the Titans. You're talking awesome. I will tell you that. It was probably the last thing on the back of my mind to do, to join. But one of the guys from the fraternity last semester called me up before I moved onto campus told me about it and invited me to the house for like a barbecue and stuff. 
I got to know the guys a lot more, and I was the first person in my pledge class to sign into Sig Tall, and I got initiated back in October of 2009. Emporia is home to a highly acclaimed writer. William Allen White, editor, politician, author, and multiple Pulitzer Prize winner, has several awards in his name, one of which is administered by Emporia. Well, it's time for me to make my exit, but thanks for joining University TV on our tour of Emporia State University. I'm Chloe DeLandis, and I'll see you next time.